Hello, my name is John Sayre, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. Today I would like to talk about one of the What's New features in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2016 using the Loop Geometry tool in the Subassembly Composer. The Subassembly Composer has been updated such that we can build custom subassemblies more easily. Users now have access to a new loop geometry tool for repeating specified links until they reach a surface target or until they are re repeated a specified number of times. For example, this tool can be used for benching along a roadway. So if we look here in the subassembly composer, you can see a subassembly that we've generated and it's going to be used for the benching that we were talking about. Here's our loop geometry. Um, selection. This is where you see it here and I've got a flow chart already built. So what this is going to do, it's set to after it benches three times then it's going to give you an error. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If we if we move this down the surface target it extends out. Okay so if I keep moving it out it starts to bench. So you can see that it benched one, two, three times and then it gives it an error because uh, that's what we wanted to do. We've told it to do that in the subassembly itself. So what does the error re read? If you if you click on the event viewer, it says surface target not found at this station. If we didn't have that, what it would try and do is it would just continually look for a, a daylight or it would look for a tie-in at the surface. And it could be something that could, uh, I mean, it could go on forever trying to find the daylighting surface. So this, with uh, generating this, subassembly with the loop geometry we've given it a parameter to where it has like I said three different benches and then after the third bench if it doesn't find the surface then we want it to prompt us and give us that error so that we can start to look at our design differently so what does that look like inside of Civil 3D well if I jump over here to Civil 3D I've got a corridor built with an assembly and my loop geometry subassembly or my loop benching subassembly all right, so if I look at it, um, I'm just going to select the corridor, and I'm going to go into the corridor section editor. You can see right here, I'm at station 725. If I move back to, say, station 450, then I'm able to daylight on both sides of the road. Okay. Now, if I move forward at 475, things start to change. So on the left-hand side here of my road, I, I'm starting to need a bench at the specified distance and it's looking and daylighting at uh, to the existing ground and it's able to find it only with applying one bench now if I continually move if I keep moving up station the further the depth gets here with that it has to to use at the edge of the bench to daylight then that prompts it to actually add another bench so I keep moving after the three benches it will give us the error and again, once we regenerate this corridor and it sees that it can't tie, we can see in our event viewer right here, it's got a report error, surface target not found at this station. Now, if you remember, that's the error that we told it to give in the error report right here for the description. So you can, you can customize this too. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and have a great day.